Hi there, I'm Al, and on this edition of Summit Racing Quick Flicks, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to re-ring your pistons. So as you continue your work on engines, eventually you're going to come across the task of putting new piston rings on your pistons. Now there's a little bit of work that goes into getting those rings ready to be put on your pistons, and we'll cover that in a separate video. But after you've gotten your rings ready, you're going to want to make sure that you identify all of your rings correctly. Now here I have a wavy ring that is your expander ring and two thin rings that go along with your expander ring and those are the oil rings. Those go in the bottom groove of the piston here. I have two other rings, the compression rings, and if you look closely on the compression rings, they do go into certain grooves and you want to make sure that you follow the ring manufacturer's directions on those. Uh, otherwise you're going to end up causing issues with your piston, with compression and things like that. The other thing you're going to want to look on these rings is you're going to want to look for a dot, sometimes called a pip, or the words top. That means that side of the ring goes up towards the cylinder head. So the first way that I'm going to show you how to install your piston rings is by just simply using your hands and rolling the rings around the edge of the piston. So as you can see, I'm going to take the expander ring here. I'm going to use my thumb and press it into the groove as I slowly roll the expander ring around and drop it into the groove there. I'm going to grab one of the other oil rings and the oil rings go on top and below the expander ring. So I'm going to sl slide it right here below the expander ring and again I'm going to just simply roll it around the piston dropping it into the groove below the expander ring. When I get to the end here, I'm going to pull the end of the ring away from the piston so that I don't scratch the edge of the piston here. Now the last oil ring I have here, again, I'm going to use my thumb and push it in above the expander ring this time and slide it around, pulling away ever so slightly from the edge of the piston so that way I don't scratch it. Again, you want to make sure that you pull it away from the piston so you don't scratch it causing a loss of compression or even damaging the piston in any other way. You don't want to pull too hard because you don't want to damage your rings. Now, there is a way if you don't feel comfortable with rolling the piston rings around the edge of the, the piston, you could use the piston ring expanding pliers and the way that they work is you simply put the gap into the pliers and open them up ever so slightly just enough to drop the ring around the piston into the proper groove and there we go and we'll do that one more time for the upper ring Now again, with these rings, you want to make sure that you are putting them in the right groove and in the correct orientation uh, with the pip or the top mark facing up. Now that I have all the rings on the piston, I'm not quite done yet. I need to clock the piston rings into the correct orientation. The reason why you don't want these end gaps lining up which is going to cause blow-by of the gases into your engine or potentially oil pushing up into the cylinder. Okay, like I mentioned, you want to make sure that you clock your piston rings in the right orientation. Now as you look at the top of your piston, you're going to notice some sort of identifying mark that designates that side of the piston should be pointed towards the front of the engine. Sometimes it's a little dimple, sometimes it's an arrow, sometimes it's the word to the front of the engine. Either way, you want to make sure that's pointed in the right orientation. Typically, you want to have your expander ring pointed perpendicular to the wrist pin towards the back of the engine. 
and then about an inch and a quarter from that imaginary center line, you're going to want to have one oil ring, and an inch and a quarter the other direction, you're going to want to have the second oil ring. Now let's go to the compression rings. The compression rings are actually going to be pointed towards the front of the engine. Again, about an inch and a quarter up from that imaginary center line, as well as an inch and a quarter down. Now, you can go ahead and find the piston ring expander tool in the description below. We have a link there to the Summit Racing page. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for us, please feel free to leave a, one of those in the comments section below. Hit subscribe to stay up to date on our latest Quick Flicks videos and watch our other videos. Thanks for watching.